Welcome to this session, creating a room finish schedule. So in this exercise, we're going to create a room finish schedule for the project and place it on the floor plan sheet. So I'm in the sheet where I'm going to place the finish schedule. I'm going to go up to my data reporting tab and select the schedules icon. This will open our schedules dialog. And I'm, it's got a filter here, so we can filter in different ways. I'm going to use show used, which means it will show us any catalog items used in our model. Now, you can create different types of schedules from this dialog. So for instance, it might be a door schedule, could be a window schedule. We're going to create a room finish schedule. And so this would be tied to our space catalog type. So you want to expand the catalog type for the schedule you're going to create. And then there's different layouts. So we deliver a few uh, standard layouts, but of course you would create and customize your own layouts. But we'll use the, the finished schedule that's in there. And so you can see what happens with this layout is it sorts the information into different columns you know, based on the information you want to show. So for instance, for a room finish schedule, we have the space number or the room number, the label, and then we'd have floor materials, you know, other finished materials, wall materials, base materials, so forth. We've got ceiling finishes and so forth. Not a lot of data on our model yet, but we could of course add that as we go along. Whereas if I select a different schedule, such as the space program, we have different labels. We've still got number and label, but then we're looking at area programs and things like that. So it's which data you want to show up in your schedule. That's what the different layouts do. So we'll go back to the finish schedule and we can actually sort our data by any of these headings. So for instance, if I sort by number, then it's going to sequ sequentially list my spaces by number. Now, of course I went back and I had added all the spaces at all the floors. If you've only put spaces in one or two floors and then you're only going to see the spaces that are in the model. And then we're just going to take the data as we have it now and place it in our sheet. So we're going to use this place table option, scroll down and say from schedule. So it's going to take the data that's in the current schedule and allow us to place it on the sheet. Now there are some table seeds. So for instance, I'm going to use this gray theme table. And that's just a, a template to determine what the table looks like. Active angle zero. And I, I've checked on retain association. That just means as the data changes in our model, we'll be able to update our schedule. So I'm going to select OK. Now I've got that table on my cursor and I can place it wherever I want on my sheet. We can zoom in there and you can see, I can see all the same data now in the table on my sheet. So I've placed the table in my sheet. In the next session, we'll go in and modify some of that data and then refresh the table. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.